Hello, welcome to the Softron Virtual Exhibition. I'm David, and today I'm going to take you through on the air video forest transitions. Now, I'm really excited about this feature because it will really help your master control, your billboards, and any live event and really up your production value. So, I really want to go over this and show you. So, let's dive right into it. All right, so I already have on the air video launched. Let's take a look. I'm going to go into this clip and select set attributes. Here we can choose our transition. Here I'm going to use the cross dissolve. And it already has a duration of one second. You also have an indicator here to let you know that there is a transition. So let's preview that. Three, two, one. So you can see we got our transition. But let's make a custom one. I'm going to go back into here and edit transitions. Here you can see all the transitions that are built in. We have things like pushes, block wipes. There's quite a few to go through. I won't go through them all, but there's there's tons to see in our free demo. So I'm going to add a Softron wipe audio. Open that clip. Now you see the clip just played. What's great is you can adjust the playhead of the beginning and the out point, but you can also do it automatically. So let's take a look. With the magic wand, it will automatically find the beginning and the end of the clip. And what I mean by that is the best time for your actual clips and for the transition. Because you can see we're getting an opacity reading at the top here. So it's finding out what the best position is for the animation. So here I like that it's 99.99%. So if I want to, I can just back it up manually. And for here, I'm going to check 99.91. Let's back it up a little. And so I'm going to make this my thumbnail. Now, you can see the time difference. So end of clip A and end of clip B. Why that's important is if you have an animation going into a sound bite, that sound bite might get cut off if that animation is going to be playing. That's a big problem with most transition switchers right now is because you can have video to video and the animation is just blanking it right, blanketing right on top of it. And, and, and then you're going to have an issue because the audio might be loud or the animation and, and the whole timing of it with switchers. And this, we are deciding when that next video should play for every animation. So it really takes all the math out of it. It really makes your life a lot easier. So now that we have that, I'm going to close this transition, Softron wipe audio is already there. And you see the duration is grayed out because you can't change the video file. So it's saying it's 1.9 seconds. That's how long the animation is, but it knows the difference in between. And we're going to get to why that's important. So now I'm going to bring up my preview. And if you don't know, that is command shift P. And I'm also going to show you, you can hit output preview here if you need to see it. So let's play that three, two, one. So there's our animation. So let's take everything, because you can affect all the transition values, and let's put a cross dissolve. Now, if you look at the playlist, let's, let's zoom in on that first. The playlist says 941, but if I'm going to add transitions to all of this, well, let's do the cross dissolve. You're going to see it affects your playlist time to 936. So that's really great because you're getting time feedback of your transitions. You're not going to get that from a normal switcher. You're not going to get that from really anything, but our program will show you because we know the length of the transition and we know that the time gap between where there's no video playing. So that's really good information to know how a transition will impact your show. So this is a really cool feature. So I told you how quick it was to add a transition. So this time I'm actually going to show you because you could do it in 20 seconds. So let's take a clip. We're going to start playing it and we're going to make the next transition for the next clip as the previous one is playing. So that's a pretty cool way to do it. So here we go. We're going to start playing this one. And the count is on. We have 30 seconds. So I'm going to go here, edit transitions plus government council wipe, open magic wand, found it, thumbnail, close it, go back here, government council wipe. Let's bring up our, our preview.
and there's our government council wipe. So you can see how quickly we can add a transition to your active playlist, to your very next clip. This is a great way to do it. I've never had a switcher where I could do that, where I can add a transition as I'm live, as I'm doing something in under 20 seconds. So this is a great feature on the Air Video 4. So thank you for watching. We have so much more in the Softron Virtual Exhibition.